Uh, the character Maya Hansen is a, um, a scientist of genius, arguably on par with uh, that of Tony Stark's, and is uh, is a figure in Tony Stark's history, and has some significant bearing on the plot of the present. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, it's um, it's definitely, it's definitely uh, something approximating intimidating coming into a very well established franchise with a group of people who, I, I you so sort of know so well what they're getting into and what they're doing by the time number three comes along, um, but I have to say that all of that was dissipated very quickly because everyone involved in it was very warm and welcoming and and likes to encourage the the newbies as it were because you know that's part of making more of these films as you get new people on board it was really thrilling actually walking on set for the first time on this because there's so much um there's so much machinery behind it as well. You know, the, there's. I mean, a film set is ultimately a film set because everything reduces down to the, the, the simple moment when you're standing in front of a camera and someone says action. So ultimately, everything boils down to that moment where you have to, you know, do your job or or run for the hills. But there was something particularly thrilling about this set just because of the, the sheer enormity of the effects and the amount of people on the set and you know, green screens and all the rest of it. Not to mention the fact that so many of the the sets and looks of these movies are already now iconic and I know from watching the first one in the cinema what that, you know, what Tony Stark's house looks like. So when you're actually confronted with walking onto it, it's quite surreal and exciting. Uh, well, um, you know, Iron Iron Man is 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 it's a it's a boy heavy movie. I mean, it's called Iron Man, so it's got, you know the the girl character. But that you know that it would be no fun if there were no girl characters at all. So it's <laughs> and I do think one of the strengths of these films is they the 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 women are written pretty well and unusually. You know, they're not they're not just sort of uh, carriers that run around screaming and and. Um, and shouting, they're kind of, you know, saying save me, save me, they're not just victims. They tend to be quite smart and sassy and together, which is one of the reasons it appealed to me and, you know, one of the reasons you get actresses like Gwyneth Paltrow doing it. I, w I was, the, the, the thing with, with Robert Downey is that he's, you know, he, he um, he's every bit as quick-witted and sharp as, as Tony Stark is. So that, that comes from him, that's not really a sort of, trope of the comic book even necessarily it's it's very much him um and there is a sense with him that you that he encourages you to to sort of get on board and jump on his train of of you know being spontaneous and improvising and all the rest of it um and what makes him a great improviser is not not the fact that he comes up with sort of zinging lines, but the fact that he, he feeds lines to his fellow actors and he listens. So if you want to jump in and start playing with him, he allows that, um, and which I did. And you have to sort of, you know, you have to put up a bit of a, a fight. Otherwise, you know, the, the whole thing can go so fast that you're left sort of going, oh, I didn't, did I get my line out? But, uh, <laughs> but I've got to say, I really, I really enjoyed it. I was thrilled by that. And I, and I love the opportunity to, to spar with him a bit and, and it, you know, it's quite, it's quite exciting walking that tightrope and feeling like, well, we're, we've gone completely off text and we don't know where we're going and we're just going to keep going until someone calls cut. <laughs>